Well, howdy, folks. Usually when I sit in this chair with the music stand, I usually do a movie review of some sort where we talk about movies or movies that I've purchased and things like that. But this time we're going to do a little music review with Garth Brooks' The Ultimate Collection box set. I'm going to give my opinions about this. And so, and see what you guys think. Is it a worthy pickup? If you're a diehard Garth Brooks fan, would you want this? Who knows? But let's see what I think. Okay, so the ultimate collection. First of all, I think we need to go back. We need to go back to the beginning of, you know, when all this took place. First of all, I'll be honest and say that I myself have been a Garth Brooks fan since 1990. Whenever Friends in Little Places first came on the radio, I will say. And, um... And it was one of the first albums that I ever heard on compact disc. No fences. So, just how big of a Garth Brooks fan am I? Well. Yeah. Does that answer your question? <laughs> and plus, that's not to mention the Christmas albums I currently own. And plus, I used to own a bulk of these albums on cassette before CD so yeah been a long time but I want to talk about this set in particular there are pros and cons about this box set and as you can see I've collected every box set that has been released um, he's only this makes the fourth box set that Garth Brooks has put out and unlike all the other box sets matter of fact I'm gonna get these out let's talk about them just really briefly the first one was released in 1998 and as you can see this is a little worn this was originally released in 1998 by Capitol Records um, and this was released everywhere and um, what it contains is the first six albums of Garth Brooks. It also included six uh, new tracks uh, that were disguised in each one of the albums. And mainly um, the big selling single off this was To Make You Feel My Love. And, or if you didn't want to do that, you know, just to buy the other songs, you could have bought the Hope Floats soundtrack. Um, but there are other songs, there are five other songs that he recorded and then inserted into this box set. And it also came with a, um, a lyrics book with pictures and so forth. And, um, yeah, and a, and a unique cover of the, des of the design of the CDs themselves. And later on, Garth would re-release these individually with the the new song incorporated but then that was until a couple years ago 2013 when they went back and redid everything and um those songs were taken off for the newly remastered versions um and uh that leads us to box two which was also called the limited series and this contained albums Seven, Scarecrow, the Double Live album, uh, the Lost Sessions CD, and an All Access DVD. Personally, I think people were ripped off by this. Because um, if you had those albums, you would have been fine. Like these albums here, you would have been fine. And then just waited until the, the, uh, 
the Lost Sessions album came out because this wasn't a Walmart exclusive box set. As a matter of fact, um, it ended his relationship with Capitol Records in, uh, when was this, 2005? Yeah, 2005. It ended his relationship with Capitol Records because Capitol was all for doing a box set, but they did not want to do it with just Walmart. Walmart, but Garth is a person with promises, and he said, I'm doing this exclusively with Walmart, and so that ended the relationship with Capitol. And he decided, with Walmart releasing it, I'll release a Lost Sessions, we'll call it the Lost Sessions album, which is songs that um, never made the final cut on albums. And so, um, but where I feel we got ripped off on this because this, the Lost Sessions only had 11 songs in the box set. They later reissued a Lost Sessions album that had 17, either 17 or 18 tracks on it. Yeah. And, of course, you had the All Access DVD, which was only exclusively in here. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Then we move on to Blame It All on My Roots, which is nothing but covers. It's a full box set of cover music. Again, this was a Walmart exclusive. You can only get this through Walmart and Walmart.com. And it had, let's see, four albums of covers, a uh, concert DVD, which was his concert out in Las Vegas, uncensored, because they even had a televised version of it and uh it was completely re-shot and re-recorded because some of the things he says in here you cannot say on television and of course it included the ultimate hits uh cd um also with the dvd to the music videos so yeah and they were all within all three box sets were within the $25 to $30 price range. Matter of fact, the first box set was probably the most expensive. It was at $29.99 in 1998. Now the others were $25 in today's climate. But that leads us to the ultimate collection. Now, is this well worth the money? Well, in a way, yes. And in a way, no. But uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. On the back, we have the complete listing of each album. The disc one is called Old School, which has songs like Much Too Young, If Much Too Young, If Tomorrow Never Comes, Two of a Kind, Working on a Full House. And um, it's more his, each album, I should say that each uh, disc here is a theme. And uh, like the first disc is old school. Second disc is called Midnight Fire, which is which is basically the love songs like Shameless, More Than a Memory, To Make You Feel My Love, She's Every Woman, The Red Strokes, blah 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 blah. Disc three is Cowboys, and which is songs like Rodeo, Good Ride Cowboy, um, and some of the other songs that he's sung about. Discs four and five are called The Road. You might as well say that this is Double Live 2.0, uh, which has those, which has the songs taken from Double Live, and it's the exact same cuts of those songs. So don't think that you're getting anything new with the road, and um, but it includes his live recordings of In Another's Eyes, um, American Pie, New York State of Mind with Billy Joel. Disc six, disc six is the anthems, songs like the, the River, The Dance, Unanswered Prayers, Standing Outside the Fire. Disc seven is the covers, which was all, which all comes from this, I should say. And disc eight is the RPMs, which had Working for a Living, uh, I'll Be the Wind, Rollin'. And number nine, disc nine is Turn It Up, Thunder Rolls, That Summer, Wrapped Up In You, 
Dixie Chicken, two pina coladas. And in disc 10 is the brand new album, Gunslinger, featuring two bonus tracks that are not included in the official album release. So, let's open it up here. Now, when you open it up, you get this nice booklet with pictures. And it also had, like I said, here's old school. Gives you the little bit of explanation behind it. There's the track listing. And let's see, Midnight Fire, blah, blah. And so on and so forth. I'm not going to show it all to you. If you want this set, pick it up your own self. Um, and of course, here's the Gunslinger album. One of the first things you see. And but these are and these are all coming in two disc set trays in cases. And um, if you ordered this off of Target.com, you got the Christmas duet CD, Christmas Together, uh, which unfortunately I did not do, so I had to buy it separately. If you go to Target store, you had to buy it separately. Now, here's where I get into my own opinion. Is this well worth it? $29. $29.99. Again, yes and no. Because there's things I like about it and there's things I don't like. Um, I love the fact that uh, if you bought this uh, the day of release, which was this, which was November the 11th, you got an early copy of Gunslinger. Gunslinger is being released right now, or has been released today. So for those of you diehard fans who really wanted the album, you got it two weeks early. The things I don't like about it are the recycled material. Is that it's all being pulled off of other collections. To make matters worse, with the the road is basically double the double live album uh, 2.5 or 2.0 I should say because uh, it's taking all the cuts his favorite cuts from the double live album and putting it into a, a new two disc set plus release plus releasing material that hasn't been released before, like version of In Another's Eyes, One Night a Day, and um, New York State of Mind and American Pie. They have never seen an album release. But now they have. Um, now, the other thing is that is included, like I said, all the CDs are within a theme, like Cowboys, uh, Midnight Fire, one of the things that they have also done is gone back and digitally remix and remaster. I do not have a problem with you remastering something and restoring something. I have a problem when you completely rework it. And a lot of the old recordings that are done in this set are completely reworked. And there's an expression I heard used for a movie that was being re-released to theaters years ago. And it said, we're going to send grandma to the beauty parlor, not the plastic surgeon. And in this case, I think they sent grandma to the plastic surgeon. Because I can tell the differences in what they completely redid in with the original because it is the original recording but when you tweak it and make it something that it's not i take issue with it 
But still, is it a is it a worthy set to pick up? Absolutely. Um, I don't think you can really beat what's offered in the content. Um, I think mostly if you are a diehard fan, you will pick this up. But if you're somebody that's, um, you know, you like Garth Brooks music, but you're not a diehard fan of his music, you may just want to skip this and just pick up individual albums. Um, but yeah, that's the ultimate collection. Of course, I am a diehard fan. I showed you what I've gotten before, not to mention what I have in the CDs. Um... Uh, and plus, I've got all the concert D concerts on DVD, the Entertainer box set, which was huge. So, that's a lot of stuff to talk about for just one little thing. But, from me to you, see you later.